The next thing on my to-do list with the outside of the tent trailer is replace this uh, outlet cover. Um, one of the doors is missing. This one here isn't really spring-loaded anymore, and this door is actually ready to just fall off as well. So um, I ordered a new one from Amazon, which I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's pretty. I think it was about ten dollars or fifteen dollars. And it's uh, just the new cover, the little spring-loaded doors. So pretty simple. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one off, and we'll see what looks like um, for uh, if the outlet needs to be replaced or the condition and everything underneath. Okay, so I got this one off, and um, yeah, like I said, the spring from inside is missing. Now this one has a foam kind of backing to it. So it's a little foam backing, some of the lights, just simple foam. The new one, surprisingly, did not come with a foam gasket. Came with nothing underneath. Um, but that's okay because I have some butyl tape right here. So I've been using this to actually seal these marker lights, um, which I can kind of show you over here. This stuff here, you can kind of see is squishing out. Might be hard to see in the video, but and it's actually uh, kind of pliable. So I'm just letting it kind of squish out over time. And then eventually I'll take a plastic scraper and I'll just scrape off all the excess. But anyways, basically it's almost like a moldable seal. And the stuff is what you would use to put a new rooftop vent like so. And um, it works really good. It's really tacky, uh, fairly inexpensive for a big roll. So it's like for 30 feet of this stuff, I forget how much it was, about $20. So what I'll do is I'm gonna just use this to seal the back of the new one. Um, the nice thing about the butyl tape is that you can take off the component without it like uh, having to replace the gasket or anything like that because the stuff should just kind of peel off. Um, you could just buy some more and stick it on there and it's not a huge cleaning effort. Um, it's water and airtight. Uh, just clean the surface and, and it should stick really well. So this one here, you can see that they had kind of silicone or caulked around just the upper edge, probably from the factory, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna clean all this off and install the new one. Now this here is also kind of loose and look at how this works. It looks like it just kind of like pinches on there. So I'm going to kind of position it where I want it and try tightening these couple of screws to see if I can get to stiffen up a little bit. Um, I'm, and I may also, well, once I actually put the butyl tape on there, the butyl tape will stick to the body and it'll kind of, uh, hold it in place. So we'll see, I'm going to clean all this off and get the butyl tape on the new cover and uh, see if I can tighten this one up and then install it. Okay. So I got the uh, butyl tape on there and, um, what I did was I peeled off however much I needed and then I cut it in half and stacked it on top of itself. I double stacked it so it's a little bit thicker. And then what I'm going to do is I will then mount it on there and start tightening it down. Now I'm not going to tighten it like absolute crazy because I don't want to strip this hole here. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put this thing on top of um, my hot water tank just because it's really nice and warm in that my like furnace room. And that way this butyl tape starts to get uh, a bit more uh, moldable and pliable. Now that it's easy to use this stuff while it's cold, because then you can cut it, you can kind of put it the way you want and it's not too tacky. But then um, if you warm it up, then it will uh, kind of squish really nicely and really make a good seal. So like I said, I'm going to stick this on top of my hot water tank, just where it's nice and warm. Let it basically cook, you know, get nice and hot on top of there for probably a couple hours. Then I'll screw it onto the outlet and let it kind of um, squish the butyl tape and seal as best as it can. So we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the new cover on and you can see the butyl tape kind of squishing out the side there and outside there. So I ended up... Um, I put it on the hot water tank, but it really wasn't getting as warm as as wanting it to. So I ended up using my wife's hair dryer to uh, just kind of warm it up. So you don't want to get like like melt the stuff, but you want to get nice and warm so it's pliable, and then that way it kind of squishes up the side. 
Um, so I'm going to let this kind of cool off and then let it squish out some more over time because over probably the next week it'll squish out a little bit more as it kind of molds and everything. And then I'm going to eventually reseal the trailer, like the roof and everything. And when I do that, I'll probably just run a bead along the top. Um, maybe also down the side, I'm not too sure yet, but just one, probably just one bead there, maybe just one on, or a couple on the sides like I had before, just to help deflect any water. But really this is going to seal everything underneath. So this is going to stop any water from getting in to the wood or inside the, 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 the panel and such like that. So it's nice now. Both covers work, spring loaded, looks good. And uh, super easy to do. Really, uh, if yours is broken or missing a door, just buy a new cover, install it yourself. And this butyl tape stuff is great. You'll start using it for to seal almost everything on your trailer, just to add a, as a uh, extra barrier against water intrusion. So, yeah, great stuff. And uh, hopefully, this uh, video has helped.